Okay, so I want you to introduce yourself to somebody you have not met and tell them where you like to go kayaking. And then they meet you in certain areas. Foot and a half. All right, so shout out some of the favorite places that you heard. St. Mark's, Wasissa, Wasissa, St. George, Sop Choppy, uh, Apalachicola, uh, Oklockney. Nobody likes to say this because they're always afraid they're saying it wrong, but that's okay, we don't care. This is Georgia Ackerman. Her and her husband, Rick Zelznak, own the Wilderness Way near Wakulla Springs. I dropped in on an event they were having at the store. I was looking for a little knowledge on a subject that's been of interest to me lately. We gave an overview on kayak camping, and it sounds like we had a range of people that were both beginners. They have an interest in kayak camping, but aren't sure where to start. And then we had folks here that have been either canoe and kayak camping and gave some insight to other folks. It was really fun. Relatively new to kayak camping on the long expeditions. We've done more day tripping, as we call it, you know, out for extended hours. But the doing the multi overnights actually just started last year with the River Trek fundraiser. River Trek is a five-day paddle down the Apalachicola River. So, you have to pack everything you need to stay alive and somewhat comfortable for five days. Where do you begin? Georgia starts by breaking everything down into three main categories. I've got kitchen, bathroom, and bedroom. Let's start with the bedroom. Camp pillow, tent, bedroll, sleeping bag, headlamp, and my book is in there. And sometimes I put my little toiletries in there too. I want my toothbrush and everything all ready for bedtime, okay? That's it, there's, there's the bedroom. Here's my bathroom. First aid kit, I actually carry two toothbrush, toiletries, um, a little vein, I have a mirror in there, but you know, that's for rescue purposes. You might need to signal somebody. So I try, I try not to frighten people in the morning. I do like to carry little mirrors. Kitchen, I'm a minimalist, he's the gourmet. I live on peanut butter on a tortilla with a little bit of raisin and I'm happy. This guy, you want him as your camping friend. My jet boil, uh, it's my stove, it's my camp soap. Ca same camp soap I wash dishes with is what I'm washing my face with, is what I'm washing my shoes with. Spoon, fork, big mixy spoon, and there's my little sponge that I'm washing my stuff out with. This chicken is done, dumplings. Kayak cooking. You can make it simple, you can make it complicated, you can make it in the middle. Just decide, have fun with it. It's um, basically a, a lot of bouillon cubes put together and there are some spices and then canned chicken. And in this one it's just bisquick and some uh, parsley. You add a little water to it, make the dumplings, and once it starts boiling you dump them together. And for camping it's a pretty interesting recipe. It's nice to have something hot that's got real real meat to it and real all that good stuff. There's no oil in it. Food is important. Yeah. Other than what Even more important is, so is water. Like I so I fill up my waters. Time. I figure out, okay, if I'm leaving on Tuesday and I'm not going to be there till Sunday and on Thursday I'll be somewhere public, so Thursday will be the day that I can refill water. I'm thoughtful about planning your food and water. That That's absolutely critical. Your water you also need for cleaning some of your stuff out. So think about how you're going to clean. You know, you don't, you don't have running water now, so what am I cleaning my stuff out with, okay? What I'd like to do then, uh, let's take a break, eat some more stuff, drink some more stuff, come around and snoop and touch and smell and look at stuff. Feel free to empty bags. Rick's going to pack the boat up. <laughs> so when you're when you're packing, it's kind of like a remember that old game Tetris, where the little pieces all had to kind of fit together. Um, it, you got to think about it almost like that, where you take a look at all your gear and figure out, you know, number one, what needs to be in a dry bag, and you know, your sleeping bag. Typically, you're going to want in a dry bag. Um, all of your clothing. Um, some things you don't necessarily need to put into a dry bag. Um, some, if you're taking some food along, like um, you know, cliff bars or what have you, you can put those back in your um, um, your little hatch right here, and those can be loose. And obviously, those loose things are great because they can kind of fill in the spaces. Everybody's different. There's no perfect way to do it, and every boat fits the gear differently. You know, your your hatches might, the tent might not fit in your front. It has to go in the back. So now we're all packed up with nowhere to go. Luckily, Georgia has a couple of suggestions. Our two favorite rivers in this area for kayak camping, the Apalachicola and Oklockney have sandbars, they're remote, there's lots of national and state forest areas that you can camp on, so I would encourage you to start exploring that. 
they're flexible rivers because the state has done a good job through greenways and trails with establishing the paddling trails, the resources are there, so it's easy for people to start beginning to plan those. They're both beautiful rivers that have um, sandbars and bluffs for camping on, some remote regions where you're not seeing a lot of boat traffic. So they're just very ideal for being out and exploring via kayak and camping. Liz Sparks coordinates the Apalachicola River Paddling Trail System. She gives us the lowdown on camping along the Apalachicola Camping is legal here, anywhere you can find enough elevation to get out of the water and get out, and get out of the river or the creeks. Some of the areas that are closer to the estuary, you have to be very careful. You time your trip with the tides so you can get in and out. Kayak camping is real popular, as is canoe camping is still a fabulous way to get out and explore. It's all good in our book. We're out, we're out on the water and we're having a good time. For WFSU, I'm Rob Diaz de Villegas.